Hey, good morning. Welcome to the garage on an incredibly rainy day out there. It's just pouring. Uh, something interesting I got on the bench today. My neighbor, Vito, a really nice guy, he gave me an old treadmill that he had taken apart to throw out. And I said, well, don't throw it out. I'll take the parts. Because this has a very powerful engine in it, or motor. Look at that, 2.75 horsepower. That is strong. Obviously, this treadmill was made to handle a really big, fat person. But... Uh, I've been reading about these kind of motors and uh, you can use them for a variety of applications in your garage like belt sanders and linishers and so on. But the only thing is these kind of motors need a motor controller because they just have very basic inputs and if you apply direct current it'll just spin at a high speed and have a lot of power but you won't be able to turn it up and down. So I have to build a motor control unit for this. And uh, what I'm planning on doing is maybe making some kind of grinder with it. And uh, I'm going to use the parts. Look at these nice steel frame parts that he gave me. I'm going to use the parts to make the frame of the grinder. I can cut this apart and use the steel and weld it together. So just another cool project I'm going to work on. And uh, I'm going to call the electronics store right now and see if they've got the parts for me to make a motor controller with this. And it's got to be changed from AC input into DC output. You see all the specs are right there. Volts, 90 volts. 3100 RPM, pretty good. 21 amps. This is a powerful motor. So I'm going to call the electronics store right now and see if they've got the parts that I need. Well, I've got a list of parts here I'm going to need to make this work. I'm going to need a 10,000 watt SCR motor controller. A 200K rheostat, or pot as we call it, a bridge rectifier to turn the AC into DC, and a ferrite ring. And just looking at this uh, motor and the parts that came with it, this is the actual bearing and uh, roller from the treadmill. So this is what the fabric belt would go on to make you, gives you a surface to walk on. But this is an unbelievably smooth bearing. Really, really nice. And you look at it, there's the, uh, the pulley for the belt, and I do have the belt over here. You can see it's a grooved one, very nice. So that would go on there and go to your pulley. So this is amazingly heavy duty stuff. I mean, I could make a great linisher out of this, which is basically a big sanding belt that you can make things like uh, long pieces of steel, you can sand them down, swords, knives, all sorts of cool stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna actually work on this project now and then. I'm not gonna do a lot today. Once the electronics door opens, I'll call them and see if I can get these parts. Hey, welcome to the garage today. No, that's not gin and tonic, it's just soda water. But uh, what I'm doing here is a continuation of that earlier video, video where I was working on the, uh, the motor and grinder here. And what I've done is I've taken apart the old treadmill I've welded it into this configuration where you've got kind of a T-shape for the base. And I use this existing uh, system here where you can, you can lift it up and roll it on these wheels, which is really convenient. So that's welded together. And what I'm doing right now is I'm taking this motor plate, this thing here that holds the great big three horsepower motor, and I'm gonna mount it right in there like that using this existing uh, protrusion here and this bolt it's going to slide in there and bolt down and then i'm going to have a place where my motor can sit on this frame and then that's probably all i'll get to for now but i'm trying to figure out how i can turn this thing into kind of a a big belt sander so work work continues all right i'm really really happy with the way that went together so using these existing protrusions from the old uh, steel, I was able to just utilize that one to make a connection here for the mounting plate for the motor. It worked really, really well. So what I'll do is I'll actually put a couple of drops of weld in there just to make sure it's all tight. And on this side here, I might weld a piece from here at a triangular angle down to there just to make sure this is super sturdy because this motor's got a lot of power. When I turn it on, it's gonna vibrate. So ultimately the idea here is, there's gonna be a belt that goes from here up to a roller across this way. 
and then there's going to be another roller way out here and the sanding belt is going to be doing this so it's going to be a long sanding area that i can put metal parts on and uh, knives axes all that kind of stuff and get a really good edge on them so it's coming together really well i'm really happy with that hey guys really happy i've got this working now so what I did is I flopped the, uh, the flywheel around, I took it off and I put it on the other way so it's sticking out more. And then I finally got my part in the mail. This thing here, this is called a pulse width, pulse width modifier speed control. So what it allows the motor to do is to maintain power at a very slow speed by giving it little pulses of power. So the power goes into these connections comes out of there and goes into this thing here. This is called a uh, bridge rectifier. This turns it from AC alternating current into DC direct current. Then it goes straight into the motor. And uh, why don't we give it a test here and see if we can get it to work. I'm just gonna turn up the speed controller here. Here we go. It works. And the nice thing about this is it's very powerful. Like, you cannot stop that with your hand. That's three horsepower. This thing could drive a car, really, if you wanted it to. Whoa. And that flywheel is really nicely balanced. Nice. The only issue this has right now is that I cannot get this motor to run at a really slow speed and that's because the dial on this isn't the right this type of dial here is not the right one for this uh, much power so once I swap this out with the proper one I'll be able to turn this up and the motor will go at really really slow speed but still maintain all the power I need so that's pretty cool I'm happy with that it's working really well